Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be taking a look at all of the February 2022 releases. February is an exciting month because I'm turning 31. Woohoo's! <laughs> it's actually me and Jose's birthday, right on. Uh, some pretty good sets coming out here in February, but is February lame? Maybe it is. I mean, there's not a whole lot of LEGO releases coming out when you compare it to months such as like January and also August. But still, there's some pretty good stuff coming out, and something that we've been waiting for, well, that's me being, or we being, us LEGO fans, for a long time. And that's more Brickheads. Like, we are so pumped up on Brickheads, right? Especially when they have incredible licenses like Disney and stuff like that. So, let's hop on over to the uh, LEGO website, and let's take a look at all of the February 2022 releases. And then we'll also compare them to last year's February releases, which were pretty good. And I'm going to say probably better than this year's. Although there is one set that looks really, really good. Okay, so one thing I want you to keep in mind is that when we're looking at this website here, which is, of course, the LEGO website, keep in mind that we're looking at this in Canadian dollars. So I'm changing this to Canada because last time I did this, I was all excited about the low prices, but it was in US dollars and I tricked myself. But of course, if you want to see what these prices are in your currency, make sure you change to the right currency. There's some new stuff that we haven't got yet, but I'm still pretty interested in getting, and that's the sunflowers right here. I mean, that stuff already came out in January, but it's been hard to find. Also, my mom wants one of these Valentine Lovebirds. She saw the one that we got, we, she saw that we built it, and she wants to get one of those, because it is a pretty cute set, and we probably need more clone trooper packs, because you get the three clone troopers, although $18.99 is fairly expensive, and the new BMW looks pretty cool, but the one that I really want is the new uh, Cat D11. I want to push some snow around or something like that. Although, I don't know if I want to get my uh, my uh, Lego all snowy, if you will. But yeah, we're going to check out the new releases for uh, the upcoming months here. At least the new releases that we're aware of on the Lego website. So you're just going to go to new and then... Uh, you know, click on coming soon. That's where you can see all the coming soon stuff. I mean, we got some new keychains, which look really good. You got Darth Maul and uh, also Big Bird. Yeah, you could actually uh, remove the keychain portion of those if you just want to get uh, the minifigures themselves. But of course, Darth Maul isn't going to come with the dual sided lightsaber. So when we're looking at this, I'll probably be in the way of some stuff. But we also got uh, Ernie and also the Black Panther mech and uh, the Wolverine mech. And a whole bunch of cool brickheads and stuff. Now the the keychains are for sure coming out on February first, which is which is good, right? Uh, I'm not probably gonna get any of those. Although the Darth Maul does look pretty neat. Like look at the print detailing right here on his torso and on his legs. The print detailing looks pretty incredible. I won't lie to you about that. And also look at Ernie. Who doesn't want an Ernie keychain? So they're coming out with some more uh, Sesame Street stuff, and then also they're coming out with the Demi Gorgon as well. And once again, you could probably just cut that little keychain off and you could use that as a minifigure. Uh, we also have some uh, new mechs coming out. Now, the problem is with the mechs is they're being advertised way in advance. These things don't come out until April 1st, 2022. So this Black Panther minifigure, you're not going to be able to get that until April. And same with the Wolverine mech. That Wolverine minifigure, though, is pretty amazing. Like, I'll probably get the, the Wolverine mech, even though I'm not a huge collector of mechs. I'm not a huge collector, meaning I don't like have any of them. I've always said that, but this one's pretty affordable. At $14, you can get the Wolverine minifigure, and that Wolverine minifigure looks legendary. I love the look of that figure right there. Now, something that's coming out on February 1st is the Easter Rabbits display. Now, I haven't been collecting all of these. We've got a few of them. We've got like the uh, penguins and stuff like that, sort of the seasonal ones. And we also got the Valentine Lovebirds. It's the one that my mom wants. Yeah, but they look pretty cute. They sometimes have like an Easter egg. Yeah, get it, Easter egg, Easter rabbits. But inside the base, for example, the penguins had like a snowflake, so that was pretty interesting. And they're fairly affordable. They're good gifts items for sure. And a lot of people have collected these complete series of all of these different little buildable characters or little buildable animals. Okay, something that I'm really hyped about is the brickheads that are coming out on February 1st. We've got some Toy Story ones coming out. And look at the print pieces that we have here on Woody and also on Bo Peep. Uh, this one's going to retail for 25 Canadian dollars, and they're going to be coming out on February 1st, and it looks pretty good, so we're finally getting some more licensed brickheads. Not only do you get Bo Peep and Woody, you also get Buzz, and Buzz is pretty much my mentor. <laughs> I like the look of him. It's incredible. He's going to have some amazing print pieces there on his body and also the wings. 
Brickheads. I love that. I love the fact that we're getting some Toy Story Brickheads or some Disney Brickheads. And I hope we get more Disney Brickheads in the future. And of course we will. We're going to get more Brickheads. They're continually coming out. But I thought I was pretty let down by the Brickheads that came out in 2021. There wasn't a whole lot of licenses. Another license that we're getting in February is Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote. So we're getting some more Looney Tunes stuff in February, which is pretty awesome because I love the look of these ones here. You know, you get... Uh, Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote. So meet me, move on in for those because this could be pretty exciting for February 1st. And also Stranger Things. I mean, we got one Stranger Things set so far and I think we probably got some key change or something like that too. But we're actually getting another Stranger Things set here, which is a Brickhead. It comes with a Demigorgon and also Eleven. I love the print detailing on the Demigorgon shield tiled pieces. Those look really good. So I think some of these uh, Brickheads are for sure. No, in fact, all of them are going to be a for sure uh, if you're a Brickhead collector, then getting the licensed one is the way to go, I think, but like more so than the animals and stuff like that. I think they did a lot of animals and stuff last year, and it can get sort of overwhelming if you're trying to collect all of the animals. Uh, I know I have the majority of them, but our Brickhead shelf is becoming overwhelmed. But I'm really excited for some of these new licensed Brickheads. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this. Also coming out on April 1st, so I guess this is more than February releases because they're advertising in advance, but we got another mech here oh my gosh these minifigures are very enticing like take a look at that iron man minifigure he's got some incredible print detailing that we've never really seen before on an iron man minifigure uh both on the torso and the legs so i'll be excited about that and they're only 14 dollars, so you're gonna get some parts and pieces that have some unique printing on them i believe and then also the minifigures that are sort of exclusive to those mechs we got some more stuff coming out on March 1st. There's the Rocket Launch Center, so LEGO City stuff. This has actually been advertised since January, I believe. Uh, so some more rocket stuff. Actually, this comes with like, the launch tower and the pretty big rocket there, the garage door, and a whole bunch of minifigures. Oops. You can see along the bottom here. Whoa, look at it. It's like duplicating on us. <laughs> but yeah, we got a whole bunch of minifigures coming out in that set as well. And the Rocket Launch Tower looks pretty interesting. Also coming out on March 1st, we have some more Harry Potter stuff. I really like the look of these Hogwarts moments. Uh, there is the divination class, and of course, all of these can be displayed as textbooks, or they can be displayed open, sort of representing the different classes, of course. And this one here is Trelawney. Like, that's a really cool Trelawney minifigure. Wow. The Grim! <laughs> right? Like, that's a really neat uh, minifigure, so... Uh, that's a really good looking one. And there's one more Hogwarts Moments uh, set coming out as well. So another one of those little mini textbooks. I have all my textbooks lined up on a shelf. They look really good and all the minifigures out front of them. I really liked it like that. Uh, and also I've seen somebody take uh, a whole bunch of these different textbook sets and also I think a watchtower and it was Lego Artisan on, on Rebrickable and he actually built like a big uh, Hogwarts modular style building which looked really cool. I almost wanted to do one of those. Uh, but this one here, you uh, get Mad-Eye Moody in Defense Against the Art Dark Arts, so that's pretty cool that you get Mad-Eye there. Uh, lots of different sticker detailing and parts in these here. Uh, I mainly like these for the minifigures and just for the way that they display together. I think they just make a cool little set, and they're pretty affordable, so they're like, you know, well, I guess they're pretty expensive for what they are, to tell you the truth. They're 40 bucks Canadian. I mean, it's not like it's a mech at $14, but you also get a lot more minifigures. We got another LEGO City set coming out once again on March 1st, and that's going to be another one in the space lineup. Look at this, like, drone over here. It's got rockets on it. Is that a rocket drone? I think it's a rocket drone. Pretty cool-looking uh, set, though, where you get these really big sort of domed elements over here and then this little space shuttle right here as well or landing craft i guess would that be a landing craft what's it called again the lunar research base so i guess it's just like a little research base once again you get a lot of minifigures in this set uh sort of jumping all over the place we're going uh we're going marvel we're going uh, brickheads we're going harry potter we're going city we're going all over the place in no particular order i guess uh, we got hogwarts hospital wing as well so there's gonna be another wing coming out uh, looks like you get madame pomfrey in here i wonder if uh, harry potter's gonna have the floppy arm in this one blah, blah, blah. I, I doubt it i don't i don't think so but uh, <laughs> you get uh, madame pomfrey there and there's going to be some interesting details there of course uh, inside and the minifigs look pretty good look at the ron one he's got multicolored legs that's different multicolored legs what's that from i don't even know what scene that's from okay i'm gonna get hated on for saying that i'm sorry <laughs> but yeah, this one looks pretty decent. Uh, I don't really collect any of the mini Harry Potter stuff, like the little uh, scenes or modules that can be connected together, just because I don't know what I would do with all those. I just collect large Harry Potter stuff, like the Hogwarts icons and Diagon Alley and the Hogwarts castle. But this one looks pretty good. And one that I really like, actually, is the Magical Trunk. I'll be getting this one for sure. Uh, this one comes with a plethora of minifigures. Looks like you get, what, uh, two, four, six minifigures there. 
and yeah i mean they all come with like the unique print detailing on their torso with their scarves so some really good minifigures there and the trunk looks really cool just the way it can open up like that and all the different colors on the outside i do love the look of that one can we see some interior shots we definitely can looks like there's some nice sticker detailing in there as well and what's this this is just like the gryffindor dorm room i guess a little bedroom there and look at the way that it just seals up it looks very colorful very gryffindor like doesn't it and then I guess you can change it to different houses. Yeah, so there's uh, Slytherin, Gryffindor, uh, Hufflepuff, of course, Ravenclaw as well. So what, you're gonna be able to change it, I guess? You're gonna be able to buy the set and then change it to whichever house that you are, I would assume? Is that how it works? Yeah, I mean, look, cause on the, on the box here, it's like all multicolored, right? Uh, 603 pieces. It says, the trunk contains furniture that magically reconfigures accessories from the movies and an assortment of minifigures, parts that kids can combine to create different characters. Kids or adults. Uh, <laughs> kids can build up to five minifigures, create completely new characters, and adapt and combine different building elements, bringing their Hogwarts adventure to life. So I guess it's just like a set that you can customize and do whatever you want with, right? So it's sort of an endless, versatile playset according to LEGO. So something a little bit different. It's a decent size too. So I don't know, that'd be pretty cool. You might get some good pieces in there. Uh, 603 pieces, that one's a retail for 80 bucks here in Canada, woof. That's actually pretty expensive. So the most hype set for February is definitely the LEGO Ideas Globe set. This looks really cool. 270 pieces coming out on February 1st. So as you saw there, there's not a whole lot coming out on February 1st. There's the Brickheads, there's the Globe. And of course, the most hype set coming out on February 1st is the Lego Ideas Globe. It's going to retail for $270 and has 2,585 pieces. Uh, this set here looks amazing. It's going to display so well. I'm going to somehow get it up beside my Titanic. I think it's going to look really cool beside the Titanic. I don't know why. I just want it. I want it beside the Titanic. I love how all the different uh, two by four rounded tiles that identify the different continents and oceans glow in the dark. I think that's really cool. It looks really nice in the 18 plus style packaging, of course. It's gonna look beautiful on display. The only negative thing about this is it's gonna be very repetitive to build. Like everything about it, the stand is gonna be repetitive. The panels that go on the globe to make it that rounded shape is gonna be repetitive. All of the different Technic bits that go together to uh, have those panels sort of form the globe shape be very repetitive to build i'm probably gonna have to build it with jose just so we can eliminate some of that repetition but for sure i'm thinking of getting this on february 1st it's going to be pretty special and you can see it's actually pretty big it stands 16 inches or 40 centimeters tall and 10 inches or 26 centimeters wide i'm really hyped about this release i think it's going to look really good i think it's a magnificent lego idea set and i can't wait to check it out at the store on february 1st uh yeah so that's going to be really cool and that's really about it. So are the LEGO releases in February lame? Well, to be honest with you, I don't think there's a whole lot of stuff coming out on February 1st. Maybe I'm just like getting too used to LEGO releasing way too many releases. <laughs> like January is insane. August is insane. There's a few other insane months throughout the year. And of course, we'll be able to expect that uh, here in 2022 as well. But we're still getting some really good stuff in February. We're getting the globe. We're getting those brick heads with the licensed themes and the Easter bunnies. So those are the three main things that we're getting in February of 2022. What did we get last year in February? Well, we actually got two major sets. We got the Blacksmith, I believe, and also the Lego Ninjago City Garden. So we got two big sets. But rather than getting two big sets this year in February, we are getting one big set, which is the globe which is sort of like going to be a masterpiece. And then we're getting some licensed brickheads. So we're getting some really good stuff. And I'm actually glad it's a smaller month than January. January is obviously always really big because they're bringing in the new year. You know, they're bringing in the, the new city stuff and they're bringing in the new Ninjago stuff. And, and there's new stuff in essentially every single theme. Whereas this time we're just getting some new brickheads and a Lego idea set. I mean, we could expect uh, something in March, uh, probably going to be a new vehicle. Now, it's been rumored Vespa. I don't know who spikes these rumors or starts these rumors, but definitely not me, but it's been a rumored Vespa. And you can expect that to come out in March, not February, because, you know, that's when the Porsche came out. I believe if you look at the history of LEGO Creator Expert vehicles, which the Vespa would be, uh, we, can, we can see that those come out in uh, March, not in February. 
Uh, that's really about it for today. Just wanted to share my thoughts and show you all of the different sets coming out in February of 2022. Let us know what you think by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks for popping on by and farewell.